you news for me, Altair? Gagné de Naplus is dead. Excellent. We could not have hoped for a more agreeable outcome. And yet... What is it? The doctor insisted his work was noble, and looking back, those who were supposedly his captives seemed grateful to the man. Not all of them, but enough to make me wonder. How did he manage to turn enemy into friend? Leaders will always find ways to make others obey them, and that is what makes them leaders. When words fail, they turn to coin. When that won't do, they resort to baser things, bribes, threats, and other types of trickery. There are plants, Altair. Herbs from distant lands that can cause a man to take leave of his senses. So great are the pleasures it brings, men may even become enslaved by it. You think these men were drugged then? Poisoned? Yes, if it truly was as you describe it. Herbs. This seems a strange method of control. Our enemies have accused me of the same. The promise of paradise. They think it is a garden, overflowing with women and pleasure. But I drug you as Garnier did his men, and tempt you with his rewards. They do not know the truth of it. Which is how it must be. But if they knew the truth of it, that all we seek is peace. Then they would not fear us, and we would have no hold over them. Go. It is time you continued with your work. Another rank is restored to you, as is a piece of your equipment. We'll speak again when the next has fallen. Awesome. Cool beans. We've got the next target. We've got a piece of our armor back and equipment, and that's what I like. Don't know if I quite such a noob anymore. This time we go to Jerusalem, the holy city. Here we are, finally, in the holy city, Jerusalem. We've got a target waiting for us. Let's do it. And we're waiting around. Oh, can't forget that camera pan. Sorry. Do it. Let's get these viewpoints on the way to the bureau and get ready to do another investigation and finish another Templar. Sacrifice for great reward. You know what? You need no longer go without. Any man willing to work can have his due. Come, speak with me. Let's start this investigation before we even go to the bureau. The this guy's of a right fine here. Life can be yours. Who knows what the future holds? What tragedies tomorrow may bring? This guy knows something, and he's getting fucked up. Most creepy stalking ever of all time. You need to be taught the lesson. That's great MMA technique right there. Those one-to-one -one punches. Totally how you'd how you'd be great at fighting. Fuck, I got two guys on me. I have nothing to say to you. Speak to me or speak to God. It's your choice. You won't stop the work he does. Cannot stop it. Stop what? What work? He prepares them for the journey. It's true, I journey don't know what where? you're talking about. I haven't they are been informed in who my target is. And when the time comes, they are sent to Akka. Where is this warehouse? And why Akka? Talal tells me what I need to know. Nothing more. It is safer that way. For him, perhaps. 
Though not I fear for you. Go to God. Well, we started already. Started it off a bit early that investigation. Just because it's hard to to not when it's right there. Okay. We're at the bureau. Let's find our target. Safety and peace, Malik. Oh Your yeah, Malik. presence here deprives me of both. What do you want? Al Muallam has asked. Ask that you perform some menial task in an effort to redeem yourself. So be out with it. Tell me what you can about the one they call Talal. It is your duty to locate and assassinate the man, Altair, not mine. You'd do well to assist me. His death benefits the entire land. Do you deny his death benefits you as well? Such things do not concern you. Your actions very much concern me. Then don't help me. I'll find him myself. <sighs> wait, wait. It won't do having you stumble about the city like a blind man. Better you know where to begin your search. I'm listening. I can think of three places. South of here in the markets that line the border between the Muslim and Jewish districts. To the north near the mosque of this district, and east in front of St. Anne's Church, close to the Babariha Gate. Is that everything? It's enough to get you started, and more than you deserve. Thanks, dickhead. Get this viewpoint and hopefully get the last piece of the puzzle. So I assume we only need to do two objectives again in these first assassinations in each city, like the last two. I've already done one, so I need one more. If you really want to do this, Templar, we can. Oh shit! Oh god! I'm a bit outmatched here. Fuck you. Fuck you. Jesus, yeah, I'm really outmatched right now. Fuck you. Nailed it. Yeah, whatever. Yada yada yada. Run off. And let me pick fucking these guys. If the guards won't take action, it falls to us to do something. What you propose is madness, but necessary. How many more will we allow to go missing before the people take a stand? It does not affect us. Not yet. But if we continue to do nothing, it will. And what do you propose? I've watched the man. Learned everything there is to know about his operation. It's all here on a map I've made. He inspects his stock every day at the same time. This is when I'll strike. So you have a piece of paper. It won't save you when you're discovered won't shield you from their swords and arrows. If all goes well, it won't come to that. Anyway, it's a risk I'll have to take. Wish me luck, my friend. Indeed, you'll need it. Okay. She's coming this way. Got it. Sweet. Two down. Let's go do this assassination. Malik. Come to waste more of my time? I found Talal. I'm ready to begin my mission. That is for me to decide. Very well. Here's what I know. He traffics in human lives, kidnapping Jerusalem citizens and selling them into slavery. His base is a warehouse located inside the Barbican, north of here. As we speak, he prepares a caravan for travel. I'll strike while he's inspecting his stock. If I can avoid his men, Talal himself should prove little challenge. Little challenge? Listen to you. Such arrogance. Are we finished? Are you satisfied with what I've learned? No. But it will have to do. Come on, Malik. Stop ball busting me. Rest I mean, I only caused your arm to get lost and your brother do to die. Get over it. For a mission. Only make sure you do it quietly. What a dick. What have I ever done to you? 
Fast forwarding memory to a more recent Lol. one. Fucking brother's dead, bitch. Woohoo! Let's go do it! Another assassination! Keen! Okay. Let's go find this bastard. Oh shit! That doesn't look good. Yep, um, I don't know if I like this. What now, slaver? Do not call me that. I only wish to help them. As I myself was happy. You do no kindness imprisoning help them me. like this. Save me. I keep them safe. The journey that lies ahead. What journey? It is a life of servitude. <laughs> you know nothing. It was folly to even bring you here. To think that you might see and understand. I understand well enough. Show yourself. Ah, so you want to see the man who called you here. You did not call me here. I came on my own. Did you? Who unbarred the door? Cleared the path? Did you once raise your blade against a single man of mine, huh? No. All this I did for you. Step into the light then, and I will grant you one final favor. Now I stand before you. What is it you desire? Come down here. Let us settle this with honor. Why must it always come to violence? It seems I cannot help you, for you do not wish to help yourself. And I cannot allow my work to be threatened. You leave me no choice. You must die. Well, definitely not gonna happen. I'll, I'll guarantee that to you, mate. I'll guarantee it's that. It's not gonna go well for you. It's not gonna go well for your man. Fuck off. You guys got nothing on me. Oh fuck. I haven't learned that ability. I always go for the full combat moves, but I still haven't learned the abilities yet. Ah, oh, god damn it. I can't throw him away from me. Not yet. What's wrong with you? Fuck you. Damn. Fuck off. Fuck you. Damn. God damn, he's throwing these heavy shots. I can throw that too, mate. Now, let's settle this man to man. Keep him away from me. Aha, <laughs> the chase. It's my favorite part. Oh, that didn't work. Um, I assume you went this way? Okay. Why'd you wait for me to catch up before starting to run? That's pretty dumb of you. Kill him! Away with you! Away! Oh, bitch, I found you. nowhere to run now. Share your secrets with me. My part is played. The Brotherhood is not so weak that my death will stop its work. What Brotherhood? Al Mualim is not the only one with designs upon the Holy Land. And that's all you'll have from me. Then we really are finished. Can't figure this out, I'll Take you? forgiveness from your God. He's long abandoned us. Long abandoned the men and women I took into my arms. What do you mean? Beggars, whores, addicts, lepers. Do they strike you as proper slaves? Unfit for even the most menial tasks? No. I took them not to sell, but to save. 
And yet you'd kill us all. For no other reason than it was asked of you. No. You profit from the war. From lives lost and broken. Yes. You would think that, ignorant as you are. Wall off your mind, eh? They say it's what your kind do best. Do you see the irony in all this? No. Not yet, it seems. But you will. These cryptic messages these Templars are giving us are confusing Altair's small brain. Just leave him alone. That's it. A nice, easy chase out. A nice, easy escape afterwards. And we return to the Bureau, unscathed by battle. Oh, oh, almost scathed. Partly scathed. Definitely a few things. Malik, we're back! Wonderful to see you return to us. And how fared the mission? The deed is done. Talal is dead. Oh, I know, I know. In fact, the entire city knows! Have you forgotten the meaning of subtlety? A skilled assassin ensures his work is noticed by the many. No! A skilled assassin maintains control of his environment. We can argue the details all you'd like, Malik. But the fact remains I've accomplished the task set to me by Al Muallim. Go then. Return to the old man. Let us see with whom he sides. You and I are on the same side, Malik. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But the deed is done. God damn it! What's the problem now? I'm getting weird temperature readings. I think the animus is overheating. Christ, it's always something. How long? Too soon to tell. These delays are unacceptable, Miss Stillman. I want progress reports every hour. It's gonna be a while, Desmond. Why don't you go lie down or something? Get some rest. Maybe I could ask a few questions here. So Vidic's going again. Wait till he leaves. See you later, Vidic. Now we can chat, old girl. Why is he always yelling at you? It's his machine. His theories. He's not the one who built it. Who did? You? <laughs> no. Abstergo has a team of engineers. Not much they don't have. But I did oversee the assembly. Guess that's why he gets so angry with me. He's a dick. He's under a lot of pressure. We all are. Can't believe you're defending the guy. Warren saved my life, so if he wants to yell a little, let him. Okay, Lucy. Um, pretty fucking weird. What do you mean he saved your life? You're not the only one who doesn't get to go home at night. Wait, are you saying you're a prisoner? When they first approached me, I was finishing up my PhD. The university had made it clear I had no future there. They didn't like the subject of my doctorate, called it pseudoscience. Said keeping me on would discredit and embarrass them. It was the same everywhere. Other universities, companies I interviewed with. Pretty soon I was out of money and out of time. I was this close to waiting tables. Then I got a letter. From Vidic? He said he'd been following my career since undergrad, that he believed in my work and wanted to meet to discuss my future. You have no idea how good it felt to hear that. So I met with him. What did I have to lose? And he offered you a job? Yes, here at Abstergo, helping out on the Animus Project. I'd have a chance to test my theories and prove the professors wrong. How could I turn that down? I think I'm missing the part where you became a prisoner. Sometimes I wonder... If they weren't behind at all. If they manipulated events so that I'd get desperate. They can do that. They can do anything. I didn't think when I agreed to come here. They even told me I'd be trapped. For six months, a year max. Once the product launched, there'd be no need for secrecy anymore. But until then, I'd be a guest of the company. At least, that's what they said. And when the Animus was ready? They came in while I was sleeping. Three guys. Guns. They 
they dragged me out of bed? God. The worst part is I knew them. One guy... Um, you gonna keep talking? They were cracking jokes. I tried to pull away. Oh, shit. He hit me. And that's when he told me I was going to die. Christ, what did you Nothing. do? Nothing. I kept telling myself it wasn't real. And then Warren was there, shouting at them to get away from me. And they listened. Jesus. He's not a happy man, Desmond. I wouldn't even say he's a good man, but he saved my life. They never came for me again, and he promised they never would. You're still stuck here working for these nut jobs. But I'm alive. Anyway, I really do need to get the animus repaired. I'll see you tomorrow, Desmond. You would not be surprised if Vidic had set those guys up anyway, so that Lucy felt like she'd owe him. Crazy to think. But. Substergo. They'll do anything. What the hell? Someone's been in here. Looks like some kind of access code. Huh. Lucy giving us... giving us little hints to shit. Bedtime though. Time for some sleepy.